This is what was uh, formerly known as my backyard and is uh, now home to the, the four sisters, corn, bean, squash, and the sunflower. My Western given name is Taylor Keene, but I carry other names as well. Among the Omaha tribe, I carry the name Bogesia, which means buffalo mane. This effort here is called Sacred Seed. Sacred Seed is, for the most part, around the, the Four Sisters. From the Four Sisters comes all of bounty and all of life. The first sister is the corn. We know, scientifically speaking, that it takes a lot of minerals, most of which is nitrogen. And so the, the second sister, uh, the bean, we like the, the pole climbing beans, but they put the nitrogen right back into the soil. The yeah, third sister, squash. Where there's squash, I don't know if it's in the little hairs on the vines or the flowers or what, but the raccoons will not step foot into my backyard here. And the sunflowers, they pull a lot of the heavy metals out of the ground if there's any, so it helps purify everything. But their main purpose, as I discovered again this summer, is as a windbreak. <laughs> it's an optical course back here. <laughs> we put a considerable amount of time and effort trying to find non-GMO indigenous heirloom seeds. Experimented with some uh, southern varietals have a green Oaxacan. We're fighting a cultural bias within it as well. Corn, especially here in Nebraska, is synonymous with apple pie. Our quote, Indian corn is only ornamental and is sold only around Thanksgiving time. And most people don't even think it's edible, but where does corn come from? <laughs> it comes from us. After I began to find seed, then I sat down with many of the elders within our tribe and asked for their advice and uh, blessing as it were, that would be a good thing to do again. In my mind, I envisioned a future where everyone in my tribe could be corn planters again. That somehow we could sustain ourselves, be economically self-reliant again. The whole notion that I refer to as living red is getting back to uh, living the way indigenous people should. Grow your own food. Deep red. Take care of it, foster it, love it, and then it will love you back. We are not, we are not, we are not, and they always.